Ja Morant has been unbelievable for his Memphis Grizzlies squad the last two games. Dude's been playing out of his mind. So in game five against the Minnesota Timberwolves at the FedEx Forum, Ja went for 30, 13, and nine. And obviously Ja came up with one of the best dunks I've seen all season, definitely in my top three. And then in the clutch for the Memphis Grizzlies, it was Ja coming up with the game-winning bucket pretty much as time expired. As the Memphis Grizzlies were able to win game five against Minnesota, they ended up going back to Minnesota and winning game six. And they advanced to the second round of the playoffs where the Golden State Warriors were in front of them. Again, keep in mind, Memphis is the two seed against Golden State. So the Grizzlies in game one at the FedEx Forum, they lost by a point. Another really good game from Memphis as a whole, specifically Ja Morant was sensational. 34 points, nine rebounds, 10 assists from Ja. What I love is... He didn't turn the basketball at a crazy clip. Only three turnovers, 14 of 31 from the field, 45%. Did struggle a little bit from the three-point line, but Job to me, was really, really, really good against the Golden State Warriors in game one. And from what I saw, which I watched every dribble of that game, it wasn't his fault why the Memphis Grizzlies lost to Golden State, even though he did miss at uh, the buzzer. It was not John Morant's fault. If you watch the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There are a lot of different places I could have went. I'm starting to question Taylor Jenkins' rotations a little bit. I'm a Lakers fan, but obviously Memphis is my hometown. So with my Lakers out of it, I'm a root for the Grizz. Taylor Jenkins' rotations have been questionable to me. Jaron Jackson played really well. It was his first time playing well this postseason for Memphis. Dylan Brooks has been awful, man. And if Dylan Brooks is not going to lock up Steph Curry, he did an okay job on Steph. Wasn't bad. It wasn't great either, though. Um, if Dylan's not going to lock Steph up, He's shooting so poorly from the field right now. I'd rather have another small guard next to Ja to kind of take Morant off the ball a little bit, like a Tyrus Jones or even uh, even, even bring in Melton, Melton a little bit, you know, to play on the ball more and give Ja some rest a little bit on both ends of the court. The problem is, is if you go Ja Morant and Tyrus Jones or Ja Morant and Melton, you, you're going to have some problems defensively because – the Warriors are putting out Steph, Clay, and Jordan Poole. And Jordan Poole's not a small guy. Clay's obviously not a small guy. Between Ja or Melton or Ja and Jones, one of these guys is going to have to guard Jordan Poole or, or Steph or Clay Thompson and mix in there. And that, that's going to be trouble. So I understand it to a degree, but I do believe a guy like Steven Adams, when he gets back, could be viable in this series. I've been kind of questioning Coach Jenkins' uh, coaching in this series. And then again, Dylan Brooks, I just don't think the brother has earned a spot on the court right now. He is he's playing hard, but he's He's taking too many bad shots right now. He's not making enough good shots, and he's taking too many bad shots, period. He's getting some open looks, not making them, and then chunking up some bad shots as well early in possessions. I'm just not happy with his performance right now, and I think Memphis could get a guy out there that's just going to be a little more steady and a, and a little more reliable right now shooting the basketball. It ain't been Ja's fault. And if nothing else, Ja has ended this rumor that even I had or even ended this, this speculation, right? I've been somebody who said Ja Morant, Unfortunately, the Memphis Grizzlies play better sometimes when he's on the bench but not on the court. Keep in mind, this Grizzlies team went, what did they go, like 18-3 and three without Morant this year? They, were, they got really hot with Morant out, and people started to say, man, is this team better without Morant? Are they better with Tyrus Jones starting at point guard because he's so reliable on the ball and reliable with the ball in his hands? He doesn't turn it over often. You know, there was those, those things started to come up, right? What Morant has been able to do, in the last two home games for Memphis is in that conversation forever to me. I will never play that game again because in these last two home games, the Memphis Grizzlies have needed a bucket. They've looked left, and I love Desmond Bain, but he ain't been the answer in the clutch. I love Dylan Brooks. He ain't been the answer in the clutch. Uh, I love uh, other guys on this team, Jaron Jackson. Some, most times ain't been the answer in the clutch. You know, it has been John ja Morant saying, all right, this is my team. When you, when you needed a basket, not when you wanted a basket, when you needed one, when the team was like, all right, we're done. We're down 10 going into the fourth against Minnesota, 10 going into the fourth against Golden State. Ja was the only guy that could step up and deliver and take over fourth quarters in ways he's done. So, And that brother deserves credit for that. And to me, that ends the conversation of what will Memphis do with Ja Morant long term if the injuries start to pile up. No, this is his team forever how long he wants it to be. You, you, bet, you better pay him on day one. You better not play that game. You will not be a better team without John Morant. The playoffs are where you really see. This is when everybody's playing their hardest. Everybody's got dollars on the line here, accolades, all that stuff. Everybody wants to win right now. 
And as you see, no, the Memphis Grizzlies are not a better team with John Moran on the bench or John Moran not playing versus when he's out there on the court. Clear as day, he's one of the best young point guards we got in the game. Memphis needs Ja. He's changed the culture, but he's still a valuable piece on the court for the Grizzlies, a real valuable one.